quiet season for the loose heads, but Jan Thomas proved himself to be a quality acquisition by Pat Lamb of the Bristol Bears, while Ethan Waller gave a good account of himself at the Warriors. Injury and international spells for Mako Villapola and Ellis Genge have meant they've not been considered for this list. However, one player has stood out for me this year, and that has been Gloucester's Josh Honeck. The lumberjack wannabe Kiwi has worked tirelessly throughout the cherry and white stunning season. His work rate has been phenomenal, maintaining the ship when the likes of Thaura Parva Ruskin has been injured. Though perhaps his best highlight will be catching the ball of a ludicrous fly half move, which is quite difficult for a prop and running into score in the West Country Derby. However, his best contribution to the Gloucester's best league finish since the time of Big Jim is his scrimmaging, unsurprisingly because he is a prop. Though this channel is strictly unbiased, I will admit, for my sins, I am a lifelong Tiger supporter. Therefore, I was deeply saddened that Harry Thacker moved to Bristol this season. Nonetheless, it's been a real pleasure to see him not only emulate, but improve on the sensational form that saw him first burst onto the scene in 2015. His style of play suits Bristol to a T. His impressive try scoring has seen him score more than seven tries this season, including one hat trick. David Flatman preferred sales Rob Webber, but honestly, I don't think he's really done that much. Therefore, the hooker spot goes to Thacker. Now, all props think they're fly half secretly. Well, except for Callum Black and Dan Cole. But only John Alfoa is good enough to play as one. When Bristol announced his signing, that was when I thought, they're going to stay up. He is obviously a wonderful scrimmager, but above the breaks it's the little things that have stood out. The neat passes and the big rips in defence. It's crazy that he is 35. This selection is really tough on Dan Cole because he has played his best season in years, tackling, tearing any loose head shreds in the scrum and carrying wholeheartedly, plus only injured two of his teammates. I am purely picking Arthur because of impact, not because he is more flashy than the England tight head. I've really been impressed with Will Skelton this season, or as Big Jim likes to call him, Big Willy Little Willy Skelton. The Wallaby used to be widely mocked for being a bit of a useless lump who wouldn't last 30 minutes in a match. The SNC team at Saracens have done wonders with him, slimming him down by over 12 kilos over the summer. This has increased his work rate tenfold while retaining enough bulk and power to remain a constant threat on the pitch. This has led to Skelton becoming a stable of the Saracens team, holding ship while Mario Toje and George Cruz have been with England or injured, whilst keeping rising star Joel Kapoku and England international Nick Ezekwe out of the mix. The 18 capped Wallaby must surely now have caught the attention of head coach Michael Checker as Skelton could be a crucial asset in the impending Australian World Cup campaign. He's committed to the London club, so unless he goes on loan, I can't see him playing for his country for another while yet. Because of international commitments Ed to, Mostert, arguably one of the signings of the season, did not make his club debut until the 1st of December against Worcester but the impact he has made to the Charing Whites and the Premiership has been staggering. I am seriously suggesting Mostert could be what Martin Johnson was for Leicester Tigers, Brad Thorne was for New Zealand, Backy's Bocker was for South Africa, and what Mario Toji is for Saracens, a hard, uncompromising secondary. All great sides have a great enforcer in their ranks, and this Springbok holds the key to a very bright future for the King's Old Faithful. He clears rooks, carries unrelentlessly, dominates the skies, and tackles like he wants the infinity stones. Fellow teammate Ed Slater continued on his great form from last season, while Will Rowlands pretty much kept Wasps out of the relegation battle all by himself, and Matthew Simmons proved to be one of the shrewd signings of the season for Harlequins. <laughs>